Previously on. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. Shit, Chelas. What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more cellas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Gren! Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? Good for you! How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Valon. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. What the hell are you? Shesh, the reports your beloved Sechenov, sir. I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal. Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov. Some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little? 
Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the Crouch things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station.
just getting started. So, what will it be, Major? I feel no pain.
Come to Papa!
So, what will it be, Major? Weaponly select the desired pre-
last survivor. I didn't think I would see someone. Listen, you should get out of here. I'd love to, but who's gonna clean this mess up if I do? Nah, I've still got work to do here. Yeah, this is exactly what we were thinking waiting for the train. Very well. I hope you'll have better luck. Oh, a survivor. I didn't think... I can't deal with this right now. A full house! Ah, we found the station, and the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. Bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the ground plague. A decade later, 
People believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. I can't. I just can't. I can't leave this place, literally. Yeah, you're going nowhere in this condition. Literally. This place is cursed. The station. The entire maglev system. Starting with the ticket. I see. I excuse me. I need to board the train. Got it. Five, five, zero, six, zero, seven. Got it. There are no tickets! The window is closed! Jeez, keep it down, will ya? This seems to be an instance of residual polymer memory. It's logical to assume that it contains the victim's most vivid life experiences. Uh, I'm not so sure. It could be his last memory. A Soviet citizen could never be that obsessed with his job. What about the Communist Youth League? What about pioneers? Going to camp, stuff like that. His hopes and dreams, literature, history. Do you have a lot of cherished memories? <sighs> Whatever. You're just a computer program anyway.
Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is zero percent. You may depart immediately. Are you sure you haven't lost your marbles like those other robots? You're not gonna crash the train and kill us, are you? Passenger safety is the foremost concern of any robotic vehicle. Our algorithms? I've seen what your algorithms can do. Charles, is there a neuropolymer capsule with a train manual on it in this station? You can drive the Vortex yourself if you find one. Unfortunately, this station isn't a transit hub. There won't be a manual capsule here. Oh, fuck. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, please present your disability certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major, note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. A unique train? What makes it so special? Does it fly through the air or something? Thanks to the revolutionary maglev transportation system developed by Chalamé engineers, Vortex high-speed train can reach incredible speeds with no inconvenience to the passengers. An inextricable part of the neural network, Vortex independently adjusts its speed and schedule based on the number of passengers on trains and in waiting areas. Following the launch of Collective 2.0. Enough, I get it. I'm almost out of time. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Do I have to? I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place. Help! They're killing me! You already got killed, buddy. Shouting like that isn't gonna do shit. I've got to hide. Get away! You'll tip me off to the robots! You're hidden, okay? The bots will never find you. Now, can you tell me where I can get a train ticket? I'm not opening the ticket window. The robots will see me. Ask someone else for a ticket. They don't have names on them. Kai, rescue, failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go. Ram empty. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People dying. Elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. Holy hell, I'm wasting my fucking time here. Robots. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go.
Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run! You can make it! Leave the area! I can't. I'm the guy who's gonna clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. They sure do. Talking to that metal moron is making me want to kill myself. So how about that pass? What about it? Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. Do not approach graphics. They're dangerous. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. <laughs> Are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in 10 seconds. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next stop, Solnechnaya Station. Charles, Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed. That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing?
Stark? No time for a dirt nap, Stark. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Station Off say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Okay, okay. Uh, Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. Uh, okay. Uh, Comrade Station Off wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, Comrade Station Off asked me to give you this. Huh. This will come uh, again. You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? Uh, slippery little bitch! I'll <laughs> Pretty here. Just like Moscow. Better, actually. More futuristic. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. Jumps over the lazy dog. His mind is completely gone. I can't keep going like that. Please, enough. Ugh, poor guy. Pain is the last thing he can remember. Tough luck. I can't work so much. I need at least one day off. This must be one of the developers working on Collective 2.0 software. They had a few difficult days before the neural network update. And brutal deadlines. Same old story. Well, you got all the time in the world now, buddy. Oh, forgive us. You're the only fucked everything. He has expired. Charles, I keep thinking, what's up with their voices? As far as I can tell, the talking corpse's polymer memory is transmitting an audio stream through the interactive speech module installed in the thought device's voice assistant. So, in other words, they talk through the neurocontroller? So it would seem. When the thought controllers were initially distributed, only two voice profiles had been created, a male one and a female one. That's why their voices seem so similar. Needless to say, these people spoke quite ordinarily when they were alive. But they promised a significant... Ah, uh, who cares?
on, not that hooker bot again. Watch out, there are robots beneath us. Really? I thought they were ladybugs. Thanks for watching folks. Remember to click that subscribe button. It's free and it helps me grow this channel.